All right. People who are the happiest now that Aaron Rodgers intends to play for the Jets, you're up. Well, Jordan Love, I mean, that's the obvious one. I mean, that, that's where I go. I mean, yeah, he's finally going, thank God he's not coming back. I'm going to have a chance to play. I don't have to deal with this. I can get reps. I don't have people comparing me to him every day. Oh, practice wasn't as good because Rodgers is, you know, he was here yesterday and it looked better. And so, I mean, yeah, good for him. How could he not be happy just to hear Rodgers state that clearly? And it, you know, it was another step closer to him taking over the team unless the Packers play too much hardball and piss Rodgers off and then he's back in the building again so they better watch out for that but man Jordan Love's got to be happy today well uh, absolutely because now it's on him and the flip side of that is I'm going to say Vikings Bears and Lions fans to finally get Aaron Rodgers the feck out of the NFC North <laughs> but the problem is it's like dropping a house on the wicked witch of the east the wicked witch of the west Maybe even worse. We don't know what Jordan Love is going to be, but I think all three of those teams have had enough of Aaron Rodgers over the years that they were ready to move on from him and see if the Packers can make it three great quarterbacks in a row. Yeah, no, that, it'll it'll be interesting. And you know, again, it's 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 a weird situation getting back to our normal conversation. Like you know, they decide you know they want to move on, they want to do that. You know, they decide to shop them. And then the Jets get involved and all of that. And I don't know. I mean, are, are they getting scared that the Jets might be good with Aaron Rodgers? Is that what's happening here? I mean, that's where, you know, but now they're holding him hostage here. It, it seems personal. It definitely does, this whole thing. It seems like it's gotten personal. All right, well, the next one um, I'm going to go to because I like your pick. That was certainly on my list. The Jets wide receivers. How could they not be happy? I mean, they pretty much all but just said they didn't like playing for Zach Wilson last year in a lot of ways. You know, fair or unfair, I, I don't really like that. And you know I don't think they handled that whole uh, uh, Zach Wilson situation the right way. But nonetheless, this is like we always talk about. The bump of an Aaron Rodgers or Brady, a guy like that, when they walk in the locker room, it just changes everybody's attitude. And, of course, now the receivers are going to be like, man, we're with the pro. He's going to teach us stuff. And, you know, they're going to have much more confidence in – their offense and their ability to produce, then, of course, it seems like they have in Zach Wilson at this point. So how can they not be happy today? Next one for me is Robert Sala, the coach of the Jets. This is a no-lose proposition for him. If it blows up, it ain't his fault. And if it works out extremely well, he's along for the ride. He's the coach of the team. He's not the one that's going after Aaron Rodgers. This is ownership-level stuff. When you make this kind of a move, this is highest levels of the organization. He just coaches the team. It's on him to coach it well, but when they basically handed the keys to Aaron Rodgers and undermined him to a certain extent, he look, he's not going to get fired based on what happens this year. Uh, if anything, he's going to get himself a new contract based on what happens this year. So he gets a little security. He gets kind of a scholarship year, and the sky's the limit, depending upon what he can do to get Aaron Rodgers pointed in the right direction. And I suspect, as we suggested earlier, that he's happy that the Packers are being unreasonable here because it's lighting even more of a fire for Aaron Rodgers to be self-motivated so he doesn't have to be coached the way that another quarterback like a Zach Wilson would need to be coached. All right, there are our picks so far. The people happiest to hear that Rodgers intends to join the New York Jets. One more round each. Chris, you're up. Well, this one's easy. It's low-hanging fruit. I mean, you know where I'm going here. Jets fans. I mean, they're the happiest. I mean, I mean, again, how could they not be? They were ready to, you know, bring their pitchforks, pitchforks and, and pillage MetLife Stadium if Zach Wilson was a starter anymore. I mean, geez, you know, uh, listening to sports radio the last six, seven months up here and the attacks on Zach Wilson, like I said earlier in the show, I think they would have jumped off the George Washington Bridge if he was a starting quarterback again. So they're the ones that are happy about this Jordan, I mean, uh, Aaron Rodgers news. They're, they're, they're ecstatic, you know, when you just listen to the vibes in sports radio up here right now. I was going to pick Trey Wingo because he's the one that put it out there first, <laughs> but he did say that it was done and it's still not done. So I don't know how he's doing a victory lap when he says Aaron Rodgers to the Jets is done because it's still not done. I don't get that. But here's who's the happiest. NBC, Fox, CBS, ESPN, ABC, Amazon. Look at the schedule for the Jets this year. 
Good Lord. Beyond six great divisional games that are all worthy of prime time, two against the Bills, two against the Dolphins, two against the Patriots. They host the two Super Bowl teams, yeah. the Eagles and the Chiefs. Right. They play at the Dallas Cowboys. Aaron Rodgers back to Dallas. Are you kidding me? They play the Giants on the road, which means another game in MetLife Stadium for Aaron Rodgers this year. I suspect, even though there's enough to go around for all the networks, I suspect that the tug of war has already started. The lobbying's already begun to get maximum Jets games on each of the various networks. Hey, uh, of course. That's the New York market. It's an unbelievable schedule, right? I mean, damn, him versus the Chargers, Eagles, Patriots, Dolphins, Bills, all at home, on Chiefs, of course, all unbelievable. Yeah, it's a, it's a phenomenal schedule. It is. And, of course, yeah, he's the kind of guy that will get you to tune in. And the Jets are legit. Like we talked about, it's one of the better rosters in football. This is the only issue on the team, so watch out if they get them. One request I have, league office, schedule Chiefs Jets early so we finally get Mahomes and Rodgers before one of them gets injured. We're done. Chris, enjoy <laughs> See your day weekend. See everybody else Friday. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.